Okay, I did it. I just had my first follow-up appointment with Seattle Reproductive Mom. Medicine. Mom. Do you guys want a, a baby, brother or sister? Mm. Do you want me to have a baby? Mm. Do you want me to have a boy mm. or a girl? Uh -huh. Do you want me to have a girl? Mm. That'd be weird. Do you want one baby or two babies? Yeah. Two babies? No. <laughs> I'm going to have two girls? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. Two babies. You want, two, two babies. You want mommy to have two babies? <laughs> so I'm gonna go in the next week or two and have blood work done and an ultrasound just to see if we're dealing with the same stitch as last time where I would need to do letrozole again. I was actually feeling really like unsure and nervous until I did this call and now I'm excited. Okay. I am here at Seattle Reproductive Medicine. I am feeling really nervous and you'd think I wouldn't be because like I've literally done this before. I know what I'm getting into. I'm here to do blood work and an ultrasound, um, t which is what I did before. Before they put me on any medicine, they wanna make sure that we're just dealing with the same situation as last time, kind of see where I'm at, what kind of doses I would need. I think too, because we are telling anyone this time that we're going to do this Alec really like wants it to be a surprise to people like our family like, we're not telling our parents like I'm doing this again they know like I would need to do this if I wanted to get pregnant again but like I don't know for some reason we just are we just sort of want to do it um and not like answer questions I just just sort of see what happens and if for some reason it's taking a while to get pregnant, we'll, um, you know, bring our family in for prayers and everything. But for right now, we just sort of want to do it, the two of us, which I'm comfortable with and that's what he wants to do too, so. Here we go again. Okay, all done. Um, they took like six <laughs> tubes of blood. <laughs> like, uh, am I, is this okay? It's a lot of blood. And they literally want me to start letrozole like tomorrow or the next day. We're gonna do a lower dose for eight days. Last time it was a higher dose for five days, but we think that obviously kicked two eggs forward, which gave me twins, even though with the five day higher dose, she told me it's a five to 8% chance of multiples. A lower dose, for eight days is a one to 4% chance of multiples. But you also run the risk of it not being enough to actually cause you to ovulate, um, in which case we would have to kick it up again. I guess I'm gonna start taking letrozole for eight days. I'm excited, it feels so weird. Like last time it just took so long and this time we're just like jumping right in. <laughs> but I'm ready, I'm excited. What'd you say? Two babies. Who has two babies? Two babies. Two babies. I'm gonna have two babies. Yeah. What? Okay, I just got this huge box and I think there's literally one little tiny shot in here. There's supposed to be a little caramel in here. <laughs> Sharps for the needle. Oh my gosh, look at all this. Is this it right here? Yep. Okay, gotta keep this in the fridge till I get word. But it's time to use it. All right, people, now we are headed to the ultrasound that's been scheduled to see if we're ready. We're gonna see if I have an egg ready to rock and then I think they're gonna have me do a trigger shot later tonight. I don't know, we're just gonna go see. <sighs> Why am I so nervous? Okay, so here's the update. I um, was going to see you know, if an egg grew and it did, just one, not two. I've been taking the, you know, ovulation predictor kits and I've gotten no positives. So they're having me do my trigger shot today. So I am currently numbing my stomach because Alec has to give me a shot, which I did not have to do last time. And I'm okay with it, I'm not like a baby, but I also like didn't wanna do it if I didn't have to. I've been a little frustrated this time more than last time, surprisingly with the process, just like, I'm just frustrated that I have to do this. Maybe, you know, it's been almost three years now since I got pregnant 
and so many of my other friends have been pregnant since or are pregnant and I'm just like dang they just do what they gotta do and get pregnant and like I just feel more frustrated this time that I have to do all this but this is also so simple compared to what others have to do I have I try to have a good perspective about it but I just hope this works because it's like it's hard so hopefully this works I I'm gonna go give myself a shot of Overdrill. Well, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna make Alec do it. And that caramel came with it. And Alec ate it like an animal. That was my my treat. It was from the pharmacy. It's like, you have to do this to yourself. Here, the caramel. Alec ate it. I don't wanna do this. I don't wanna do it. Let me do it. I just wanna do it. You wanna get it? Let me hold it. Let me hold it. I don't think I can do it. You have to, no, you're supposed it. to pinch it. Like, you have right a there. Can you do it? I don't know. Oh my gosh. And then you just go slow. Can you squeeze it out? Mm -hmm. It hurts. <sighs> I did it. <laughs> Sorry, that was fully supposed to be you. Also, this, like, you cannot take a pregnancy test for a minimum of two weeks from right now because this drug has HCG in it. So you can get a false positive. That actually was not that bad. Good, good work. <laughs> Finding out that there's a little something cooking in here. A little something being a baby. Hopefully just one. Who knows? I had a dream last night with triplets, literally. So stay tuned for that video. But my parents are coming over today and we're gonna tell them the news. Harper, you like your shirt? Yeah. Hi, big bro. Baba Hudson. Are you gonna show grandpa your shirt? Do you wanna see it again? Okay. I'm so anxious. Uh, uh, not more than the first time, but they just have no idea everything we've been doing the past month. Okay, show, 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 show them your shirt. Big, big boy. Is that cute? Big boy. Yeah. Big Harper, show me your shirt. Big, big bro. bro. Big sis. Wait a second. Oh, what? Uh-oh. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> really? Oh. Oh. Got that right away. I was like, big bro, and then you go, big brother. I'm like, when I read it, I'm like, really? Yeah. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Huh? How did you guys sure find out? Yes, too. I don't know yet. <laughs> that's really cute. I know, isn't that cute? I just bought him those shirts. Oh, let's see. Big sis. Oh, that's cute. Uh oh. Is there one on the way? <laughs> Baby, seriously. I knew it. Yep. I knew it. Something was happening. I knew it. <laughs> okay, you better not be recording this because I always look like crap. Is Emily still sick or no? No, Emily's good. Oh, that's good. Hey. Yeah. Me, my sign is really bad right now. So you're not like throwing up anymore, Emily? No, I think I'm done. Hopefully forever. <laughs> good. I haven't been either. Stop. <laughs> Cameron! Baby on the way? No! <laughs> no! Yeah, but I'm I'm pretty hungry. Like the cravings haven't started yet, but I'm hungry. What does that mean? No, you're lying. You're absolutely lying. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Do you know if it's a boy or a girl? What? Do you want to see the little chicken? Really? Yeah. 
Seriously? 